Hello everyone, my name is Ramsri and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this YouTube channel, I share my learnings from building three AI SaaS apps, supermeme.ai, question.ai and supertranslate.ai. In this video, we are going to see how we can take any video and embed subtitles that is hard code subtitles onto the video as you can see it here. So the input to our program will be an mp4 file, a video file as well as an SRT subtitle file and we are going to use the SRT file and mp4 and uh, burn the subtitles directly onto the video like this. So in order to get the code and the easy to use collab notebook, you can go to ramsrigotham g slash supertranslate.ai and once you go there, you will see burn subtitles into video folder. This is the folder that has all the code that's necessary. Once you come here, open the Google Collab Notebook and uh, let's uh, start with the installation. So let's install MoviePy and image.io uh, image as well as all the necessary libraries. So image magic as well. Let's also install PySRT that is helpful to read the SRT file. And in case if you do not know how to generate an SRT subtitle file from a video, you can use our app supertranslate.ai to do that. Now let's go back to our collab notebook and let's connect our drive. We are connecting our Google Drive because we have the subtitle and SRT file in the path uh, that is shown here Google Drive, My Drive and uh, this folder and SRT and MP4 file these two files are in the same GitHub folder that I showed you so you can grab from there otherwise what you can do is just go here and upload your SRT file and MP4 file and you can remove this path completely and just give the path to SRT file and mp4 file that you upload as well. Now let's proceed ahead with this. Now this is the main code. What's happening here is we have this time to seconds. Let's see what that does. If you go to the accompanying blog post, you can just see how the sample SRT file looks like. So this is how SRT file looks like. There is a starting timestamp, ending timestamp and the text for each subtitle line. So what this time to seconds does is it takes the time object and it converts that into seconds. So hours multiplied by 3600 etc. So it converts that start time object to seconds or end time object to seconds. Now this create subtitle clips is the main function where we are creating a text clip for every line in the subtitle file that is SRT file. We are going to grab the text and we have font size and as well as font type as well as color that we are giving here. And the other thing is you can as well give background color as well as size why are we giving this size it will be clear once i explain it so if you go to this video if you don't mention the size parameter for this text clip if it's a long text clip it can extend to any size so if we restrict the size of this clip in our case let's say to three-fourth of the video size what happens is that it wraps around nicely and doesn't extend beyond that. And every text clip size is automatically determined. For example, depending on the font size that you're using, this text clip could be, you know, 100 pixels in height and 1000 pixels in width. Since we don't want to control the height or it is automatically defined, we are giving this as none, but we are controlling the width precisely to three-fourth of the width of 
the video size because we also want to give background color and it extends that width completely so that's the these are the main parameters to text clip and also method is called caption this makes sure that uh, the text is nicely wrapped if it's longer it will extend onto the next line as you can see it here and every text clip has a start time as well as duration duration is calculated by just taking end time and start time of each subtitle so this is the main line where we are creating the text clip and uh, these two lines are also very important so once we create the text clip as i mentioned the text clip will be of fixed height and size now the thing is we want to place this text clip appropriately within the video so we are centering the x position as center so this is the x axis it starts from the top and uh, we have the y axis so on the x axis we are centering it you can as well give uh, exact uh, pixels since you know the video height otherwise you can give center and other parameters as well i think it's called as east west north south if you want it to appear here here etc now we want to precisely control the video y position as well so right now i am giving video height into fourth fifth so the subtitles come here at four fifth of the video now if you want to center even that you can have that there or if you want to have it at some other ratio like 5 by 6 etc you can have that so the text position is precisely determined with the set underscore position so once the text clip is created which is a fixed size it's positioned within the video at this tuple x comma y where x is center for us or you can give some other exact number corresponding to the video width and position is video width into 4 by 5 now let's run this now once we have created all the subtitle clips what we can do is we can do a composite video clip where on the original video we are overlaying all the subtitle clips that are, that is the text clips that we created and these text clips will go at the appropriate timestamps because we have start time as well as the duration precisely defined so let's run this and the output file is created with original file name underscore subtitle dot mp4 that's where the output file is generated now that the output file is created in this path let's just load that and uh, read it right here on in the collab notebook background i think you can probably explain to us you know this whole hype of generative ai right i mean right now people want as you can see we have subtitles overlaid perfectly what is the now if you want you can go ahead and change the font type font size change the background color as well or the width of this and play around with other parameters but uh, you have seen a simple example of how we can overlay subtitles and generate the output mp4 file that has the subtitles hard coded hard coded in it thanks for watching